Once you have completed the general campaign settings, the next step is to select Inventory. In this example, we are running a website campaign, so the Inventory tab will allow us to select individual websites to add to our campaign. Other campaign types will provide different inventory options, such as Run of Network or Run of Exchange, as well as mobile apps and video inventory. Those inventory options will be covered in other videos. In a website campaign, the Inventory section looks very similar to the main Inventory tab that we looked at in the Inventory video that was part of the Introduction series. Use the search box to find specific websites. You can use the filter tools to search for sites that fit within certain requirements, such as geography, category, ad size, and exchange provider. Just like on the main Inventory tab, Stats are provided that show you yesterday's impression volume and average CPM price. You can also get placement stats and other detailed site information. Once you have found the sites you are looking for, use the checkboxes to select the ones you want and add them to your campaign. It is also possible to add all sites in the list at once as long as the list is less than 2,000 sites. Down in the bottom corner, you can see the count of sites in the list. If you have filtered the list for what you are looking for, and the list is still over 2,000 sites, you can use the minimum impression filter to shorten it. Once the list has been filtered to less than 2,000 sites, you can click the Add All button. Finally, it is possible to add sites by site ID if you already have a list. Click the Add Sites by ID button and enter the sites into the provided text field. If you want a more in-depth overview of the Inventory tab, go back and watch Video 3 of the Introductory series. When you're done selecting Inventory, click Next Step to proceed.